All right, folks. We are up again super early. I don't mind my dirty mirror. And yeah, anyway. But we are up early again. Just gonna have you guys film me from the mirror. Jason's car is done from getting fixed. So it's another early morning of going to get his car. And then I come back home and get the kids off to school. So I'm just gonna quickly do my hair and then we'll be off. Chelsea is home from school today. I'll explain that here in a second. She's not sick, by the way, but it means that she's here with Ashley. She's almost 12, just so that everyone doesn't get worried. She is old enough to be here with her. They're both asleep for another little while, and then I will hopefully make it back home before bus, but Chelsea knows how to do it all. Ashley knows how to do it all too, but Chelsea can get her ready and down to the bus stop, so. Let's head off to go get Jason's car. All right. Let's go. We are very oh, hang on. All right, so we are returning the rental a couple hours early because we didn't know that the car was gonna be done this early. It was actually done last night and they gave us five minutes before they closed <laughs> to come and pick it up. We're like, yeah, that's not gonna work. So. Instead, we're going to return it this morning, and then I have to drive Jason back up to get his car, and then he'll be able to go to work. But the reason why Chelsea is home from school is kind of fun news. Also, this is like Cyclops popped up while I was, I don't even know, like sleeping, I guess. I was not there last night. So Chelsea has fun news, and so she's home from school today. I can't tell where Jason's at, because I don't know what kind of car, <laughs> what his car looks like. So Chelsea has been at a temporary middle school for this entire school year so far, and her school is done. It, they are ready to move in, and we're all very excited for her. We can't go and tour the school because of COVID, and because it's actually still a construction site. The school itself is not complete, but the school building is, and the front ground are done. The back sport court is not done. And so they still have to deem it a construction site. And so only necessary people have gone in for a tour. The teachers, obviously, and the staff. And then they've let the older kids that are like team leaders. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. I don't know where Jason is. I'm trying to like follow him down there. So they've all toured the building and kind of got the lay of the land. She gets to move in. And we're very excited. And it meant that because the staff needs to move from their old building that they're in now into the new building, they tacked on two days to their midwinter break. So Chelsea gets two extra days off and uh, that's today and then the week after the break ends. And so that's why she's home today. So the teachers are going to move into the new building today through this weekend. Hello? What? Where are you? I'm, I'm going down the hill. You were backing out and I got to get this. Okay, I just thought you would wait for me. You usually do, so. I usually do except for the fact that I can't have this gas thing drop anymore. But things. Oh, so, so have to go put gas in it. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you down there. Right. Just go in and start the process. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hang up. He usually waits for me. He usually waits for me. That was kind of weird. He's just a gentleman that way. He wants to like follow me down the hill. Anyway, so in order for the staff to still be able to utilize as much of their winter break as they possibly can and not have to work the entire time, which isn't really fair to teachers, they tacked on some extra teacher work days in order for them to, you know, be able to go over and set up their rooms and get everything moved in. They moved 17,000 books into their library, I think last week or the week before, and they had like volunteers, PTA volunteers come in to help do that and they had like a time-lapse video of it. It was really pretty cool to watch them fill an entire library with books. Anyways, you can tell we're very excited. We're obviously not gonna show the new school, even though it's so cool. It's in the best location, super easy to get to for Chelsea, and anyway, <laughs> I can't even explain more of it without like divulging location, so she's excited to move into that. Um, it was unfortunate that we didn't have a trip plan for midwinter break because with those extra days that would have been really nice to not have to worry about missing school but as it is ooh, pretty sunrise hang on also last night i got a text message from a friend and <laughs> she's like so 
where do you stay when you go to Oahu? And I was like, girl, you can't text me a message like that. You have to call me. And it was like 8.30 at night and I had gone to bed early because I knew we were getting up early this morning and I'm just sick of being tired. She called me right away and she was like, I just didn't even like bother to like research it because I knew I could call you. Anyway, she suddenly found flights to Hawaii for dirt cheap like $99 away, which is incredible, and which is a very smart thing to do, but she's never done it before. She's never gone to Hawaii. She's never spontaneously booked a vacation like that. And so we really had to kind of dive into it together and like what would be most affordable, what could be planned so late, in, you know, late notice. Um, Cause she's going the same time I am. And so anyway, we spent two and a half hours last night talking on the phone going over things. The funny thing is her family doesn't know she's going. So she's, they're all sitting right around her. So she was having to like mischievously like use code words with me and like she'd say up on the north end of the place that we're talking about, North Shore, or down on the west side, Koalina, or down in the busy town, Waikiki, Honolulu. <laughs> It's so fun to talk to her and, and be like little mischievous, you know, planners as we kind of work this out. And the plan she came up with, I actually might consider doing ourselves if we ever go back to Oahu, which I really would love to. I have a cousin who lives there and I would love to go and visit, but the other islands have my heart <laughs> more so. But it was so fun to talk to her last night. And I was like, you're really lucky that I'm going already because I would be super jealous of this trip I'm planning with you. And she was like, I just knew it was gonna be the, like you. You would be the right person to t call and talk to and you understand everything that I need to know. And so anyway, it was very fun to talk to her. So Jason pulled in <laughs> and the car dropped one notch below where he should have it filled up. So he has to go find gas really quick and put one gallon in it. <laughs> he's like, I'm not paying for more than I absolutely have to. So he's gonna go and top it off and I'm just gonna wait back here for him to come back. You walk along that street, talking nervously. Be close, it won't be long now. You made me write this song, yeah. All right, we just got here, pulling up to his cute little car right here. I'm gonna get out and make sure it all looks good and the damage is all repaired. It was this door that got munched in his car accident. All set? Yeah, they were just talking about this airbag light that came on thing. Is it okay? Well, no I took it to Ford saying like, hey, I got some recall thing saying that my car has some recall. And they're like, no, no, you don't have anything. But it, what it is is some airbag sensor thing. So I don't know if that means it won't go off in an accident or they're worried it'll just go off on me as I'm driving down the road. Oh, that's So I great. need to take it in, you know, on one of my, you know. Many days off. Lazy business owner, many days off. Okay, go, I gotta get home. <laughs> Love you, glad the car's fixed. Yep. Bye. Bye. I need my bag. Oh, so if I hurry, I can actually make it home <laughs> right at bus time, but I'm kind of crunching. Love you. Love you too. He forgot his bag. Looks like I made it in time for the bus, except now I'm gonna have to follow the bus for the entire route down to our stop. <laughs> and then say goodbye to Ashley. So, literally, there's no other way. I have to follow behind the bus the whole way. Hi, cutie. I'm running to the store quick, and then we'll go out. You can choose what we do. Okay, probably will involve chicken nuggets. Huh? You want chicken nuggets? That's... <laughs> no? Maybe something different? Well, Red Robin or a cheeseburger. Oh, okay, we've upped the game. You thought about this for a little bit longer. <laughs> actually, actually, I thought of it once while I was in the shower. <laughs> Did you take another shower this morning? No, no, no. Oh. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. I just got done at the grocery store, and I think you guys know if you've been with me for a while, I hate the grocery store, like with a passion. I had some PTSD from my couponing days. But I glanced at the clearance section really quick because it was really big. There's a lot of stuff there, and I got a lot of cereal for half off, and one of them was even on sale, so they give you the half off the sale price. So don't ever, like, 
forget to look at the clearance section because it's you can get some good stuff but I just had to like get like all the it's like the condiments like the olives and the oil and the like I can't you know what I mean like the ranch dressing and anyway I don't buy a lot of that stuff from Costco because it's just too big like the bottle is too big to put in the fridge or whatever. Let's see if I can see here. I saved 34%. It's not my usual. I usually save more than 50%, so that's unfortunate. So anyway, I did pretty good today at the store. Now I'm gonna go home and get Chelsea and we're gonna go to lunch. Apparently she's changed her mind because last night she's like, I just want nuggets. It's okay if it's just the drive-through, I just want nuggets. She realized, and I don't really keep it a secret necessarily, but she realized that I do take Ashley out most Wednesdays to give fair credit to myself. I'm not like you know boiling one kid usually we're just running errands and then she get you know her little slushy or whatever anyone who goes and runs errands with me will get something <laughs> I guarantee you they will get something she just was like oh I would like to go out with you even if I'm hanging out with my friends and stuff can I stop for a little bit and go and hang out with you and go get something to eat that was the plan and now she's like oh wait. she wants like a sit-down lunch <laughs> which is, it's fine with me because I'm kind of bored. Yesterday I was really bored. Also, she's bored already because like I've already seen two families just in driving out of the neighborhood. I saw them packing up their cars. <laughs> so I think most of her friends are headed on to vacation, going on their little midwinter break vacations. And so she might not have too many friends to hang out with this week. I'm hoping some of them stayed home, but let's go home and get her and head out on a little date. Okay. <laughs> She's wearing shorts. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? Technically Red Robin, but I don't. We can go to Red Robin. Is that where you want to go? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're going to get? You like the pizza or the mac and cheese? Both is good. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> but really what she goes for is the salad, correct? All right. Last It'll... time they brought me like a whole A whole dish. big, huge one. It was very nice of them. So... Uh, we're gonna head over and have a nice little sit down at lunch. Oh, that'll be fun. All right, so we also have some other fun news. We are losing our mask mandate in one month, almost exactly one month. March 21st is the last day of our mask mandate for indoors, schools, and there's another like little caveat to that. But the school follows the health department and the health department's like stance on the mask mandate. Sorry, hang on. Anyway, so the email that they sent out from our school district was very confusing because they were saying, well, we understand that the governor is taking away the mask mandate, but we follow the health department's guidelines. And then that was it. They were like, well, you can wear your mask to school if you would like, um, and let's not like, you know, tease anyone or, you know, treat them badly because they're still choosing to wear their mask. We are gonna follow the health department's lead on this and I'm like, I don't understand. Anyway, I asked someone who worked at the middle school that she would, anyway, the old middle school my older girls went to and I was like, did that seem confusing to you guys? Like, as leaders? You know, and she was like, oh gosh, it was horrible. Like, we were all like, wait, what? What are we supposed to do? Anyway, and so, got some clarification today. Yes, in fact, the mask mandate does include schools, so they are no longer required to enforce it at school, but they are allowed to enforce it on the bus. So Chelsea, that answers your question. They are allowed to say on the bus, we still are following the health department. So you have to wear a mask. So you need to wear one. Okay. Yeah, so. And then I asked, and the mandate ends just before our vacation, and so I was kind of talking to Kaylee about it, and I was like, Hey, so do you mind wearing your mask at school, like in crowded areas and stuff for like two or three weeks before our vacation? It's not even two weeks. And she was like, oh yes. She's like, if anything, this has taught me how many germs I walk through every single day. She's like, I'll be wearing my mask in the hallways, going into the classrooms. But she's like, as soon as I'm seated, I'm, I will feel comfortable just being in the classroom. And then obviously like lunchtime, She's like, yeah, crowds? Nope, I'm gonna keep the mask on for a little while. And I don't know if airlines are gonna lift the mandate anytime soon. I, they haven't. I mean, I feel like buses and like more transportation things should because it's such a tight space. I know, but I think we're almost done with this. Um, my brother-in-law is calling me, so I better hang up with you guys.
Okay, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Did you like your food? Yeah. You got a burger. Yeah. I don't was think it, it was there before. I don't yeah, remember. I don't remember it. Maybe it is, but you just had never thought. They had bacon on it, mm -hmm. or we added bacon, and that was what was enticing to you, right? And it was just something better looking. Yeah. So she liked that, and then I asked her if she wanted to go anywhere else. <laughs> and what did you say? I said the dollar store, but it's a farther away. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to go to the one in town. She the wants one, to go. That just has more Valent the one that's closer has more Valentine's stuff than. Okay, but why did you think to go to this other one? Because Ashley said there was fidgets there, and the one she got is really good, and it's actually very common. <laughs> she is selling it. She's like, it's calming. I need to, it relaxes me. I need to have it. Yes, I get it. So, back to the dollar store, even though we were just, I was just there like two days ago. What, three days ago? I don't know. I don't even know. Whenever we went for we Ashley. Ashley yeah. So, off to the dollar store. Cool. All right, we are going to take a chance and go to the dollar store by us. And you guys, I don't really talk about our cute little town. But look, this is like downtown. My in our cute little town. town. Look how cute this is. Like it just gives off like... Little little town feels. Yeah. Right? Nestled in the mountains of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> See? The mountains are like right up there. No, look at these downtown. cute little... Like there's the theater and... Anyway, so cute. So we're just going to go to the dollar store down here. See? There's a saloon. And there's the little Fisher, Fisher Meats. What did I just say? Miss your feet. You said miss your feet. Yeah. It's Fisher Meats right there. Anyway, there's yummy yogurt and the subway. I didn't talk about it in our business video, but we actually almost opened up a subway. We were looking into locations about opening one up, and that's when we got the idea to like start a business. But anyway, cute little town. This is where Salmon Days uh, is when we walk around and stuff in the fall this is the street that we walk up and down and have all the booths and stuff set up and then in the summertime I'm hoping they do it again this year but like they did it during COVID and it really helped businesses a lot where they shut down the street and they bring all the tables out to the street underneath tents and stuff and I really hope they do it again because it was such a fun atmosphere down here and the businesses got way more business than they would normally have and so I really hope they do it again because it was quite fun. Okay, no luck, right? Mm -hmm. Nope, sadly. But we did find some birthday stuff. I got packages of white balloons. I got three of them. And a one of confetti. There's six of them in here. They're clear with um, light confetti. Not sure if I'm gonna use that for her birthday or maybe for Kaylee's. This is for Ashley's birthday. Like that cute rainbow one. That one's really fun. Then I also got white wrapping paper and at home I was able to get the number nine uh, another time I came to the dollar store but I'm gonna make you wait to reveal what Ashley's theme is for her birthday and Chelsea's trying to decide what her theme is she's turning 12 so yeah. I had an idea and she's kind of poo-pooed it <laughs> it was a cute theme well no it's just like it was a little awkward yeah. well, not it wasn't necessarily you But that's okay. So we will, we'll find you'll find out soon enough what the theme is for Ashley's birthday. But I was shocked that I found the rainbow. I and that, no, that won't give it away because everyone's gonna think I'm gonna do Hawaii. I've done it for so many years, but it is not in fact a Hawaii theme as much as I would like. Oh, where's the bags? We also got bags, yeah. gift bags that are notebook. cute blue. And then the sides of them have a cute like white stripe like that, super cute. So even this isn't a giveaway because blue is not the theme. So you're gonna have to stay tuned. Yeah, but we did not find fidget spinners or poppets or the Orbeez stress, ball. stress balls. We did not find that. I hate our store. I hate our Dollar Tree. It's too less organized. They don't have enough staff to organize and put everything away. And so, Anyway, but I don't know that I feel like driving a half hour to 40 minutes out of our way and back in order to find an Orby ball for a dollar. <laughs> so I told her 
we would try again another day when we have more things to do in that direction or in another direction where there's another dollar store okay. correct we have all next week yeah okay did you make yourself dinner huh? you made yourself dinner she's been looking forward to the garlic bread all day uh oh is it still in mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, did oh. I literally told you. Did the timer go off? No. Oh, I hope we didn't burn it. Okay, let's see if we saved it. We didn't burn it. Oh, ye of little faith. You're so excited. <laughs> Let me cut it. Okay, She's so excited. <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm just hungry. hungry. All right, I'm going to get her some dinner. She's been begging specifically for garlic bread for weeks now. So I'm gonna get her some garlic bread. So we are going to end our night here with garlic bread. It's been fun to hang out with Chelsea today. So the whole week now with everyone home on break. But we had fun news to start with. with no masks coming up and her new school. Are you excited about that? Yeah. It's gonna be kind of annoying because um, like for the last two periods of class, um, I have for the fifth floor and then back <laughs> down to the first. And I'm like, they literally said they wouldn't do that. And they're like, I know. Oh, well. Sometimes you can't avoid it. So she has to kind of relearn a new school. And it sucks because I have people. I know, I'm sorry. They do have a good like layout with this school where each floor, I don't know if I've just said this before but each floor is a different color and so like different panels on each floor are like the teachers doorways are colored per that floor and it is really really cool because it follows like the earth where like the ground floor is what are the colors chels huh? do you remember what the ground floor was i actually have a paper of where everything is do you know, like... so they're doing the colors i can't show you this page because it's well, <laughs> got the school name on it on no it's okay so the ground floor is brown for the earth, and then the second floor is dark blue for water. Green for trees is the third floor, light blue for the sky on the fourth floor, and yellow for the sun on the top floor, the fifth floor. And then, which is really fun, because then they can visually like, like if they see the color, they know that that's what floor out there on, and then they just have to remember what classroom they go to. Um, but they're also going to put pictures of our town all around based on what floor you're on. So pictures of uh, like trees. the trees, obviously will be on the green floor. They have. And then they'll have, um, there's blue floor, it, you know, they'll have pictures of the lakes and rivers and things like that around town. And then it's just gonna be really cool because it's very specific to the Northwest and to our area. And it's a really good like visual for the kids to learn where to go within each floor. So it's kind of cool. But we're gonna close this today with you guys and make sure you come back for more and we'll see you guys. Okay, take care.